After tonight, some of our neighbors in Northern Virginia are lucky to be alive after a massive tree, massive, came crashing down in their neighborhood. Yeah, look at this right here. This happened in the Lake Barcroft area of Fairfax County exactly one week ago. But as you can see right here, that tree and the cars it damaged are still sitting there. Our Katie Lusso spoke with the people in that neighborhood just a few hours ago, and they told her they are counting their blessings tonight. It is by some miracle that no one was hurt. Take a look at all of this damage, all of it from a tree that came crashing down exactly one week ago. Tonight we spoke to the man who was about to get inside of this car when that tree came crashing down. If I was out here 30 seconds before, it would have probably been a different story for me and my family. Alexis is still shaken up a week later. This was his car. Just after 6 p.m. last Tuesday night, he had just stepped outside his family's home near the intersection of Maplewood and Lakewood Drives in Lake Barcroft. I started hearing the tree crackling, just walking backwards as I saw the tree coming down. Seconds later, the tree had crushed his car. And that's not all. The tree came from here, took out all the cables, and fell all the way down to the other side of the road. He says first responders were on scene quickly and luckily no one was injured. He says VDOT arrived shortly after and removed parts of the tree from the roadway. But one week later, pieces of the tree remain on his and his neighbor's cars and in their yards. That was pretty shocking to me that they only were in charge of cleaning up the road and not uh, to our properties, but that's up to our insurances. We reached out to VDOT and they confirmed that it is in fact up to the property owners to clean up beyond the roadway. Tonight, a message from this car owner who says if something looks off with a tree in your yard, report it. If a tree looks like it's tilted, then do call the county, do call uh, Dominion, anything that will help. As he waits for estimates on repairs and removal, he's counting his blessings that things were not worse. Because of my Lord Jesus Christ, he saved me and my family from tragedy. And we've put up more information about what to do if a tree looks like it's in jeopardy of falling and who is responsible if one does fall on WUSA9.com. In Fairfax County, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA9.